Okay, now we are going to prep our warp for weaving. So we're gonna prep our loom so that we can weave. So we wanna create those warp strands. I have already predetermined and decided that this is going to be my warp piece of paper. So if you remember, I'm gonna set this one aside so that this doesn't, we're gonna put that aside. We don't need that right now. And we are going to fold the paper. And before we start folding the paper, uh, 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 don't start folding yet, watch. We want to make sure that our paper is sitting is on the table vertically, not horizontally, but vertically. And the first thing we're gonna do, and I know I've taught you this, but please watch before you do it, we are going to take this piece of paper and we are going to fold it down. Now at any point in time, you should pause the video so that you can do that step. And then you can play the video to keep going. So we're going to fold it down, but I just did something and I didn't do it the right way. When we fold down, remember we wet match the bottoms and the corners and I hold my paper in the middle and then I go up and over and up and over because if we don't do that, we might end up with a fold that's not right. So that's step number one, fold your paper in half. If you folded your paper in half correctly, you are then going to turn your paper and you might notice that it should open up like a book. I'm gonna take this folded side and I'm gonna put that folded side towards my tummy. So this fold side is facing me. This is opening up away from me. I'm then going to take the top half and I'm going to fold this down and I'm going to put my thumb there because I want that this fold to be kind of a little bit about the size of my thumb. And again, pause the video as you need to or back it up so that you can watch the steps and make sure you're doing it right. Now, this is what you need to do. You are going to check. I want you to open up your paper and if your folds are on the outside, if this, these little flaps are on the outside, and you have a fold in the middle, then you know you did it correctly. So I'm gonna fold that back down. The next thing I'm going to do, you're going to need your pair of scissors. I am going to cut up the middle of my paper. So I'm gonna make nice big alligator chomps. So notice, I'm gonna use the whole scissor. So look at that, big huge alligator chomp. Boom, another big alligator chomp, boom. And I'm going to keep cutting until I get to that fold at the top. So think about this like a little pair of pants, okay? So now I have a little pair of pants. And if I open this up, again, if I just check my work, this looks like a big mouth. Hello, how are you? We are going to be weaving. So if you made this correctly, this is what it should look like. So I hope you were following the directions. I'm gonna fold this back up again. There's my little pair of pants. And now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut up the middle. So I've cut this in half. Now I'm gonna cut this side in half. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Cut that in half. Once you have this done, you can either choose to stop and just have this, but if you want your weaving to look more complicated or more complex, you wanna get it more detailed, I would put in a few more cuts. And I'm gonna take each one of these and cut them in half. So I'm gonna find the halfway point and I'm gonna cut in half. I'm not gonna do any more cuts than that. You don't wanna have any more. So I'm cutting each one of these in half and you're going to notice that when i'm done my little strips that i have cut are all about the same size so this could be like a little skirt okay you'd have like a little skirt or a little octopus and actually i think one two three four five six seven eight and octopus octopuses have eight octopi i think have eight legs so i have like a little skirt or i have a little octopus here um, so that's what you want. Don't have more than eight. That's as, that's as much as you want to cut, okay? 
that's as far as this video is going for right now. If you need to go back and rewatch steps, do that. Okay, just make sure you're getting it right before you move on to the next video.